Hey everybody, this is Preacher Mr. Hammonds, and I have my next Bible science lesson for you because that's two things that I love. I love the Bible and the Word of God, and I love science, and when those two come together, I get excited. The title of today's lesson is A Hairy Situation. The scripture for today is Luke chapter 12, 6 through 7. When five sparrows are sold, they cost only two pennies. But God does not forget any of them. Yes, God even knows how many hairs you have on your head. Don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. That scripture comes out of Luke chapter 12, verses 6 through 7. So in that scripture, you see where it says, God even knows the hairs on your head. Now, just having hair is a gift. And I'm going to be honest with you. I, I like my hair. And my hair allows me to do different hairstyles. So I want you to kind of look and see which one you think you like. Check my hairstyles out. I called this one to the right. I called this one down the middle. I called this one down in front. I called this one, hey, up and at them. I called this one to the left, to the left. And this is everyday wear. So you see, I got some variety when it comes to my hair, all right? And just when you think about hair and you think about the science of your hair, your hair is in different places besides just your head. Actually, hair is almost all over our whole body. Hair is on your head and on your skin. It makes up your eyebrows. It makes up your eyelashes. It even grows in your ears and in your nose. Did you know that? In fact, where do you think the only places that hair doesn't grow at on your body. There's a couple of places where hair doesn't grow. I give you a moment to think about that. The only places that hair doesn't grow on your body is in your palms. Look at your palms. You don't see any hair there. The bottom of your feet and on your lips. Actually everywhere else all over your body there's hair everywhere. And hair isn't just for looks either. It has a purpose. The hair on top of your head keeps you warm. Eyelashes keeps dust and dirt out of your eyes. And your eyebrows keep sweat and rain also away from your eyes. Not to mention your eyebrows come in the midst of your emotions. Your eyebrows can kind of talk back and forth. It's important that you have hair here because it also helps you show some expressions. i give you an example. What if you're mad about something? You do that. See how your eyebrows speaks that you're mad? What if you're happy? You do that, you're happy about something. What if you're wondering if something goes wrong? And if something's going weird? Kind of like the rock. You know, you can do that. So I just want you to know that your hair has a purpose and your hair does things. And those hairs that's in your nose and in your ears helps keep germs, pollen, and bits of stuff out of your body. So our hair is very important. So I decided to look up some facts about hair, and I was wondering if you um, had ever heard these before. Okay, one fact for you is your hair is actually dead. If it was not dead, it would hurt to get a haircut. You understand that, right? Actually, 99.9% .9 of your hair is dead. The little piece of it down where it grows at is alive under the skin, but majority of it is dead, which is why it doesn't hurt for you to get a haircut. Another fact is, your hair grows faster in warm weather, so your hair grows faster and longer in the summertime. It's because the blood is issued to the bottom of your hair where it grows more, and you get more hair in the summertime. It grows faster. The most common color for hair is black, and the least common color for hair is red. Only 1% of the world has red hair. Hair is very strong. If you put all of your hair together and make a rope, it could hold up the equivalent of two elements. Now that is strong. Hair grows out of a special organ under your skin called a follicle. One follicle produces a hair. The average person has 100,000 follicles on his head and more than 5 million over your entire body. Now that's a lot of hair. And God knows each and every hair in each one of those follicles. You might not be able to count them all, but He can. Because the Bible told us that. Remember, our scripture comes out of Luke 12, 6 through 7. When five sparrows are sold... They cost only two pennies. But God does not forget any sparrows. But here's the point. God even knows how many hairs you have on your head. Don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. 
The key word in that scripture is don't be afraid because God knows you and God loves you. God knows you to the point and details of he knows how many hairs is on your body and can know if he wants to when each one of them falls out. When you're going through a tough time, especially if it's a long tough time like we're dealing with now, you may start to feel as if God has forgotten you. You may start to wonder, where is God in the midst of this chaos? But that's not true. God can never forget you. Jesus said, God's, Jesus said God knows what happens to every tiny bird in this world. He feeds the sparrows and he knows each one of them. And he loves you so much more than the birds. When tough times come, God doesn't forget you and you are not alone. He knows the details about you. He knows your family. He knows your friends. He knows what you're going through. He even knows how many hairs is on your head. God is always with you even though you may not see it. Remember, the God who knows every hair on your head knows exactly how to take care of you. And that scripture says, do not be afraid because God knows you and loves you. I found another piece of scripture for you. Remember, in Psalms chapter 139, God said he knew you in your mama's belly. He knew you in the womb. He was there when you was put together. That's how personal God is for you. He's known you since you was a baby. Also, Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, I have plans for you, God said. He said, I'm walking with you along the way preparing you, and I'm going to know you down the road because I got good plans for you. This scripture today lets us know that we serve a personal God and that he knows you. He knows the hair is coming out of your head. So he knows the situation you're in the middle of. I pray that you'll seek this God, that he'll take care of you and that you don't be afraid because God loves you. Bow your heads and let me pray. Dear Lord, we love you today and we ask Holy Father that you will comfort us and help us stand on the fact of not being afraid because we serve a God who knows us and a God who loves us. Holy Father, take care of us. In your special name we pray. Amen.